Hello, Jennifer. How you doing? Okay, so I want to um, I want to talk about your your week five A two um, submission. Um, I, I'm not going to talk much about this page here because this is kind of like for your own you know organization etc. Um, so just, I I just looked this over to make sure you guys are are you know, filling it out and at least paying attention to it. But that's really for your organization. Um, I'm sure you found out that it, you know. It, it's it gets pretty confusing when you're um, putting together your your portfolio. So good job there. Then let's move over here to the Oasis website, and 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 you've got the idea here. This is good. You've you're, you've got equal margins on the left and right. Um, you've got a little bit bigger margin on the front than the, the on the top than the bottom, and that's fine. And then you have this nice grid structure, and that works out very well. Um, so you've been listening. Thank you very much. Good job. Um, my only suggestion here is that if you take a look at the, the width between um, the top and bottom pages, it's not, it's a little bit less than these um, pages side by side. So, you, you know, take that into consideration. Um, you'll be surprised how much it does. Okay. The work itself, these pages look awesome. Really, really good job here. Okay. As far as the, your written accompaniment goes, I'm going to suggest a couple of things here. First, as far as appearance goes, you don't need this box around your text. I think that you have too much text here, and I think it's it's really, really large. If you were to print out, let me see how big this page is. Okay, that's 14 by 8.5, so... I mean, that, I'll bet you that's probably 12 to 14 point type, and that's just too big. Um, so reconsider that, the size of that, and the amount of text. I, what I would suggest, and you don't definitely don't need that box around your text, I would suggest this. I would say put your headline up here, uh, you know, website, and then on each page, what I would do is I would select an area, maybe even down here, and that area could be for your your written text. Now it doesn't have to be very big, it'll fit, because the next thing I'm going to suggest is that when you write your text, you, you don't have to use all, all of this explanation. Um, so if you say that this was prepared using uh, um, uh, Photoshop, what do we have, Illustrator? So if you say this, the uh, um, tools used Photoshop Illustrator and whatever you plan on using to launch it, probably Dreamweaver. Um, so, so, so just say, you know, tools used or, or software used. Then, and that's enough, just software used, say the name of the piece, Oasis website, um, software used Photoshop Illustrator and, and, and um, 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 what do you call it, uh, Dreamweaver. And from there you can go, Okay, from there you can just say, um, you don't have to say text and logo placement was done using, oh, just say the, the tools that you used and mention something about maybe like the target audience and the objective. And that's all you really need. The reason we want target audience and objective is because as we see here, this Oasis, I'm not real sure what it is, but it is obviously it is, your target audience is older folks, obviously. So you want to, 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 to mention that so that we can see as the viewer, as the portfolio reviewer, we can see that you have indeed nailed your target audience based on uh, the size of your typography, the placement, the open airness of the pages, um, the, the ease of navigation, etc. not to mention the images. Okay, so um, so this is a really, really nice, and plus you went four pages deep on that. That's awesome. Good job there. Now your next piece, I have my same suggestions um, as far as the page layout goes. You know, your... Um, You know, if 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 you're going to design these in spreads, um, it, you know, you you have to decide where you're going to place your logo. I, I wouldn't mind seeing it same place, so that we can draw attempt to draw some rhythm into the page, and we have can attempt you know we can develop a cadence so that the viewer will know where to look each page to find the title and the explanation it has to be in the same spot every page. 
um, you'll be surprised how, how, how the timing will be developed beautifully just by a consistent placement of, of your text. Um, again, same thing with your, your, your you know, amount of your text. Okay. Now this site itself is, is not as strong as this one. This is really, really strong color-wise, layout-wise, just beautiful. This is not. This is, is I, it's, you just have boxes everywhere, and it's just so, like, like okay, here, here, look here, look here, look here. Okay, watch, 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 watch my mouse. Okay, look here, 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 look here. I mean, it's just every page has all these boxes that say, "Hey, I'm here." So let's try to pull some hierarchy into this, these pages. These you don't have to show these sub page, these you know, these this sub navigation. All I think it's doing is kind of cluttering up your page. Also, I don't understand why these. You've got these blank um, rectangles and squares everywhere, so I'm not real sure um, about that. Also, Legal Shield, the logo is is, is the least prominent um, design element on the page, so you may want to rethink that. Okay, use this page as a model. Heck, this page is beautiful. Use it as a model. Wonderful hierarchy here. Try to work some of that hierarchy in here. And I don't mind if you use two different web pages instead of a web page and an interactive media. That's fine. Okay, moving forward, let's take a look at your package design. So you have your two bottles. Um, you don't really necessarily have to show the back of the bottle. I wouldn't, and I'm going to tell you why. Because this looks really, um, it, it just, it doesn't look you know, every time I, I've ever designed a label for packaging, it's that the wraparound label always becomes a problem. Um, either you design it to join or you design it not to join. But, but you can't, like, like if you're going to design it not to join, you can't have this right here, the GA, and then have it cut off. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, if, it's not, if the label's not going to join, don't. You know, just design it as such so that it, instead of having this right here, this little half uh, word garlic, you center these three garlics so that you have equal spacing between all the garlics. Um, and that way, when you fold it over, you're just going to have the end of the word there and the beginning of the word starting over here. It'll look much, much better. Not so quite so odd. Um, this looks good. This looks great. You've, you've, you've designed this. It looks like it's hard to see where the seam is um, because I, I don't know if that can you see in the corner. Yeah, there's going to be a seam in there somewhere, but you haven't shown it, so it's in there somewhere. You can see because here this ends here, and if this label joins, then it's going to end. It's going to join right there. So, okay. Um, instead of showing the back of this, what I would do is I would say just you know maybe take a live shot take this bottle and reproduce it a couple of times and maybe put one, you know, here's one, and then there's maybe one in front of it and one in front of that, or, you know what I'm saying? So you don't have to show the front and the back. Take a look at some of the websites I left in for some suggestions about how to photograph the work. Okay, and then finally we have this last page here. And, and this page, I think we're going to be able to get what we need out of this. Um, And, and we don't need the DVD cover, so let's just, let's skip that. We don't need that. We need publication design. So, this is what we're going to do. Let me think about this for one second. Okay, so you could do this, actually. Okay, that's front cover. That's inside spread. Yeah, that's not going to work. I was going to say, actually, you could, if you added more text here on this page, this is what we could do. You can have this 
inside spread and this could be your second inside spread that would make it a publication design because it would be a, a one two three four five six spread uh, six six uh, panel spread okay so this would be the front cover this is the back cover okay the inside of those are going to be blank so the back of this page is going to just be that purple page so when you open it the first page that you flip over onto is going to have a blank page then these pages will be printed back to back so that when you this would be the cut the the opening cover then you would open that and then you would have one panel then the next panel then you would close that and have the last panel okay then you would have the other side of this blank page and then the back cover so it would work as a six page spread um, do this um, just just try to try to dummy it up and you'll see exactly what I mean and that all, all that would entail is taking half of these pages and shuffling so them that it would work as a as a um, as a booklet okay Okay, and that's that's all I have here. So so um, again, your background page, we talked about that, and then we have the same background page. But over here now, you have this broken grid. So right here is like your ter first two pages start right here. Okay, that's where they start right here. Okay, then your next page starts in up in and up over here. So shouldn't it start the same spot? Shouldn't that thing? start in the same spot likewise shouldn't these all start in the same spot you know what i'm saying okay so so you have the same playing field in each each one of your pages text same spot each page remember okay if you um if you want to give me a call uh i have at it here's my number let me give you my number right here um, I, I i'm doing this because Okay, if you need help, give me a call, um, and I can help you. I'm going to have my phone pretty much all day um, today, tomorrow, Tuesday, so that I can help people out that need to get their portfolios finished up. So feel free to give me a call. We can talk about this. And also, um, I posted that link for the course survey. Please take that, Jennifer, because it's really important to know, for administration to know that students what students think of the, 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 the quality of the education that they're getting. So in other words, this survey is going to ask you a lot of questions like, um, you know, did you feel confident with the, with the uh, professor? Did you feel, um, did the professor reach out to you? Was there outreach? Was there um, communication, et cetera, et cetera, good guidance, et cetera. And it's really important to take that stuff seriously because they do, and it keeps me working. Um, based, you know, scheduling is based on how you feel about the, the, the general core education and who teaches it, etc. So um, keep that in mind, really important stuff. Okay, thank you so much, Jennifer. I'll talk to you this week.